Okay, as I was saying, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today, I have another vlog. Um, as you can tell, I'm on Zoom today. As usual, I usually vlog on Wednesdays. Today is a really exciting day, as usual. Getting really close to the wedding. So, doing our last minute things. Sunday, I went to get a spray tan. I don't know if you can tell in this lighting, this lighting's really bad and my spray tan is starting to wear off. But I got it on Sunday. Um, you can definitely tell in my hands. Yeah, so I did that on Sunday and then I went to Ulta and got all my makeup stuff. And I'm so excited. It's like glorious because I had $50 for my grandma for Christmas and then I had a $200 Visa gift card from my other grandma, Nani. And then I had a $50 Ulta gift card from Jack. So I went on a shopping spree at Ulta, got a bunch of stuff. I was gonna vlog that day, but honestly, I just thought like it, there wasn't really much because I couldn't really vlog me getting a spray tan and I couldn't really, I didn't wanna vlog me and Ulta because it would have created more chaos because we didn't get to Ulta until like 5.15 and Ulta closed at six. So I needed to just focus. Yeah, so I will give you a haul on what I got. And then today, I'm super excited, so I'm going to get my dress fitted. In December, I went to try on my dress because um, I got it in finally from being shipped from the brand that I got it from. Now I'm getting it altered, so I'm going today to do alterations, you know, to size me. I was going to have my grandma do it, but I needed a buzzle which is basically like when you put your dress up when you dance. The dress that I have makes it a little bit more complicated. And then also I need my, I need it just hemmed and then to put um, padding in my boob area. So Nani, my grandma just decided like it would just be, she'd be more comfortable with someone else doing it um, because she's never really done like a bustle like that I need for my dress before. So I'm doing that today and then afterwards, we're gonna go to Sephora and get my foundation because I wanted to get a very nice foundation, a foundation that would last all day and that will be very full coverage, flawless. That's the one thing that I'm actually gonna spend like quite a bit of money on is foundation. And I needed to get a spray tan to match my foundation. So that's why I got a spray tan and because I wanted to see what my spray tan would look like with my dress. So that's why I got it. We might go to Victoria's Secret. So today is a very, very exciting day. Not because of all those things, but because it's Jack's 22nd birthday today. Wednesdays are his busiest day at work. He has a youth group on Wednesdays. So he is literally up like doing work from like 9 a.m. to like 8.30. Um, but it actually kind of worked out that I was doing my wedding dress fitting on his birthday because that gives me an excuse to not be at youth group. So I'm gonna do my wedding dress fitting, gonna go to the mall. Then afterwards, I am going to surprise him at his house. He knows I'm coming over, but since no one was really able to like do like a party for his birthday, we celebrated it yesterday. We went to dinner yesterday, but no one was able like, it's the middle of the week. No one is really able to like come have a party. So I'm gonna do like a at home party. Um, and I got like some streamers. I'm gonna go get some balloons. He loves ice cream cake. That's his favorite. So I'm gonna get him an ice cream fit ice cream cake from Dairy Queen and just kind of surprise him, do a like, little at home party and then just like hang out with him for a little bit, um, maybe play games with his family. But usually youth group ends at like 8.30 and then he usually gets back home at like 8.45. So I just got out of the shower. I was just on lunch break, but I didn't eat lunch on lunch, on lunch breaks. I usually work out depending on what I have after Zoom. But since today I don't have time to work out after Zoom, I worked out during lunch. And I haven't eaten yet, so I'm going to make some food. I wanna show you guys this product that I'm gonna put in my hair, and I'm a little interested to see what happens or if anything happens. But Aveda has a B Curly line, and if you've watched my video, um, it was my Day in a Life video, I'll link it um, right now. But I, have a, I got a bunch of things from Aveda because since I go to school there, we got like a $50 voucher. So I got this B Curly, it's this curl enhancer. Obviously I have like pin straight hair. I don't have like any curl or texture to my hair at all. But one of the videos that we, um, that Aveda provides for education, there was like a bunch of videos about all of their products. And one of the videos was the B Curly line. 
they have shampoo, conditioner, curl enhancers, curl, um, like co-wash, uh, a bunch of different stuff, serums, stuff like that. But one of the videos said that you can add texture to your hair by putting the B curly in straight hair and kind of scrunching it. And so you do it while the, your hair is damp. So I'm going to try this and see what happens. I'm going to be air drying it for the next couple hours. So hopefully I'll see some, some sort of difference or just texture or something. And if not, I'll just give it to Jack or Kira because they both have curly hair. I don't know. I got, I put a lot on. I feel like that might be too much, but basically what they said is just take some and like scrunch it in your hair. I don't really like the smell of the Be Curly line. Kind of just smells weird. I mean, Aveda products don't really smell that good. I'm not going to lie. Like some of their stuff smells good, but because it's so natural, it's all plant-based, all natural, you know, things of the earth. So <laughs> a lot of this stuff just smells kind of like bad, but so I'm not going to really like brush it in my hair. I'm literally just scrunching it and my hair is very fine and very thin. So I don't have a lot to work with, so. All right, so I'm just gonna leave it in my hair like this for a few hours and hopefully I'll see a difference. And if not, then I just have a bunch of like crusty product in my hair, but whatever, so. All right, so I'm gonna go make lunch. Okay guys, so really quick, I wanna show you the lunch that I'm making. And this is like my um, meal prep lunch. Usually on Wednesdays, I have like eggs, bacon, and then like waffles, but today I kind of want to have like lunch lunch. So I'm making a chicken salad, and this is super easy. So I just cut up one stalk of celery. Some recipes say to like cook some chicken and then shred it or chop it. That's too much, too much money, too much time. I buy chicken breasts in a can, so it calls for two cups. So I'm just gonna put two of them in here. I don't know like how much it equals out to one cup or one and a half, but I'm just gonna do two of them. So I have this jank can opener. The only thing I hate about canned chicken is that you have to open it with a can opener and it smells really bad. All right, so now I have chicken and celery in here. It calls for Dijon mustard. I don't know how much, I don't usually measure. I kind of just go to like taste. So I like a lot of flavor. And then it calls for like half a cup of mayonnaise. I'm running out of my mayonnaise. Then it calls for a few green onions. Be a lot but I have three green onions in there Get some oniony flavor because honestly I don't like eating raw onions like it's just too much for me and then my breath smells really bad so I would rather do green onions because I feel like it's less potent then I usually like to do like some onion and garlic powder just to give it a little bit more flavor season it up a little bit and then um, I'll put like some sesame seeds in there. Got some black sesame seeds, just sprinkle some in there. So this is super quick, super easy, doesn't even take 10 minutes. And then salt and pepper. I like a lot of salt. And do some pepper. So hungry. Then take my little spoon, combine that. I just feel like chicken salad and like uh, tuna salad recipes always call for too much celery. Like I feel like I'm eating like all the celery like with a little bit of chicken or a little bit of tuna. All right, and here is what that looks like. It's super good. And I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to toast some bread and then I'm going to put it on some bread and then 
I'll put the rest in like a Tupperware and I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end. All right, so here is what it looks like. So I put some spring mix lettuce underneath, then my chicken salad, and then I got some pickles, olives, and then I have um, these mandarin oranges and the rest of the salani new that I haven't drank yet. So yeah, I'm super excited and I'm super hungry. All right, so my hair is like officially dry and there's not much wave to it. So since I'm going to get my dress fitted, I'm not gonna put it in a braid because I think I'm gonna try to put it in a braid next time and see, I'll probably put it in a braid tonight and see if like that will make it a little bit more like wavier. I mean, I can see a little bit of a wave but like, it's not anything like crazy. But yeah, I put a little bit of makeup on just because I like to have makeup on to see like what I'm gonna look like, you know, in my dress, like with makeup on. Um, I just like to look a little bit like presentable. It's so much different when you have makeup on and you're trying on a dress, like even like with prom or homecoming or whatever, like when I had my dress on, but no makeup, I kind of felt like like, I felt pretty, but it was like, eh. And then when I had my makeup on, I was like, whoa, that's crazy. So, um, that's why I put on a little bit of makeup. I'm gonna spray myself a little bit. It is 3.40, so I'm gonna be leaving in five minutes. But before I leave, I do want to show you my makeup real quick. It's gonna be just a really quick haul because I have five minutes. And I've been putting this off. I put Jack's present together. All right, so I got a lot of stuff. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. But. So the first thing I have, I just got some new eyeshadow brushes. These are the blend eye shade and blend brushes. I just haven't gotten new brushes in a while. So I um, got those. I got the Maybelline Lasting Fix makeup setting spray. I was gonna get a really like expensive, expensive setting spray, but I read some pretty good reviews on this, so I got that. I got these Almay um, Biodegradable Long Wear and Waterproof Makeup Remover Pads. I just thought this would be good because it's pretty little. It's It would fit good in like my makeup bag. And instead of having to like really wash my face really good and like use makeup wipes and stuff, I think this would be a good option and it's for waterproof makeup. I got the Epi Epic Ink um, Waterproof Eyeliner in Black from NYX. There's really good reviews on this one and I would need to make sure that's a really good waterproof one. I got the L'Oreal Lash Paradise um, Mascara Primer and just the regular waterproof mascara. I wanted to get a primer because a lot of times my mascara falls, like it comes off my eyelashes. Um, I'm going to be putting on fake eyelashes, but I thought it'd be good to really make sure like the mascara stays and blends well and stuff like that. So I got those two. I got the Maybelline Master Prime Face Primer. Hopefully that works really well. I was um, reading and looking up different primers, so. Got the um, Duo Rose Water and Biotin Strip Lash Adhesive. I was trying to find like really good like waterproof eyelash glue, but this is like the best like brand of eyelash glue. So I had, I made sure that said all day hold uh, because the other one that's the one that said waterproof was like a glue that was like an eyeliner as well and I didn't want that I just wanted like just a glue because I'm going to be putting it on my waterline so I didn't want like liner I like liquid eyeliner stuff to be on my waterline so I got two different brow things which I didn't realize but they're both from NYX so this is a NYX dip shape go so this is kind of like a dip brow pomade with a little uh, spoolie. And then I got just the NYX um, Micro Brow Pencil. So I think I'm gonna line my um, eyebrows with this first and then go in with the dip brow. And this is waterproof, this is the long wear. 
I wanted to make sure that was long wear because when I rub my eyes or like throughout the night, I didn't want my eyebrows to come off. Um, but I will also be dyeing them before the wedding, so. And then lastly, I got some lip stuff. So I didn't know, oh wait, I got the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer. They had a buy two, get one free, and I was like, might as well just try this. Um, I might use this also for pimples if I get any pimples. I got a little darker of a shade than my natural skin color since I knew I was going to get a spray tan. So this is a 24-hour full coverage concealer, so I think this will be really nice. I'm going to use the Tarte concealer, but I think this would be good for, like, spots. I'm going to just try it out and see if I like it. And then I got three... Maybelline lip colors. So I've heard really good things about the Superstay line. So I got the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon, and this is in the color Trust Your Gut. And then I tried to match it as close as I could to this one, um, which is the Superstay Matte Ink in Seductress. So I think these are the, like pretty close, hopefully. I think this lighting is like really bad. And then it was a buy two, get one free. So then I did get this super stay like lip gloss. Oh my gosh, sorry. This is um, so pearly pink. I, I just wanted to get more of like a glossy like top coat and I didn't want something like super matte, but I wanted to make sure it would stay on. So this, I, this apparently is really great and this really does like stay for 24 hours. So um, hopefully that works. So I didn't get like any super expensive lipsticks or anything like that. Just these three. Um, as you can see, this is all my makeup except my foundation. And I got it all from the drugstore. Um, the total was $176. So not that bad. No, $189. And, um, I got like all the Maybelline stuff was buy two, get one free. Some other stuff was on sale. So like, that's not bad at all. Usually, if you're gonna be paying someone to do your makeup, you're gonna be paying them more than that to do your ma to do your makeup. So, I thought it was super awesome, and I didn't have to pay for any of it because it was all from other people like giving me money and stuff like that. And then, um, lastly, I got this perfume. This is my all-time favorite perfume I've ever smelled before. So I wanted to get a wedding perfume scent. People say like you should get a scent for your wedding and just wear it on your wedding day. So I went to Macy's and like tried out. A bunch of perfumes I don't like like floral scents I like more sweet like warm scents and this one if you like warm like vanilla sweet scents this smells like candy it smells so good and it smells sexy like Jack really likes it so this is the Dolce and Gabbana Dolce and Gabbana the only one and it's perfect because the only one like that's per like a perfect wedding perfume so this is the one ounce um, I wanted to just get like a little one because they have one ounce and then they have 1.5 and then they have like a bigger one. This is like $76, I think. So I am like really, really excited about this. So yeah, that is what I got. I'm not going to do a wedding makeup look before my wedding, but I'm going to do one after the wedding and do like a redo my makeup for, for my wedding. And I'll like explain all those products more in detail um, tell you how I liked them and all that kind of stuff. So that's why I just wanted to go through this pretty quick. My Zoom class just ended. So all right, guys. So I just finished at the bridal place. All we did was she pinned the stuff that she needed to pin. Like I did a bustle and then we're doing the shoulders, like taking the shoulders in a little bit and then putting like inserts in. So that's all she really did. Um, obviously I'm not going to show you because I'm not showing my dress, but yeah. And then now we're going to the mall. I'm going to get my foundation from Ulta or Sephora. And then I'm going to Victoria's Secret. My tire pressure light is on though, which sucks. So I need to go fill up my tire with air. I'm like debating on if I should do it now or like later, but my tire is really low. Like I saw it and you can tell that it's really low. So... Yeah, there's probably a hole in it, which really sucks because tires are really expensive.
22 by Taylor Swift on Amazon Music. Did you know I was going to do this? No, I didn't. Do you like it? I do. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! It fell! And did you guys just recycle these through my <laughs> bag? No, I did. <laughs> but you don't like it? No, I do. <laughs> he was like, woohoo! <laughs> Do you feel special? I feel special. I haven't felt special that much today. Aww. So this is nice. Oh, that's lighting. Hold up. Watch me turn my whole table. That's better. I'm literally sitting on my floor. Hi. So I didn't finish the vlog yesterday. Basically, I was like... I was a little stressed as usual because me and my grandma didn't leave the mall until seven. Um, it was really fun. Like I really loved hanging out with her and stuff like that. I hadn't seen her in a while, so that was really awesome. But I was kind of on a time, time crunch because I wanted to hang out with Jack for his birthday. So I originally wanted to leave the mall at like 6.30, go get the cake, get his balloons and all that kind of stuff. I already got the streamers and everything at Target. So it takes a half an hour to get from the mall to get the cake and the balloons and stuff, which is where I live. And then it's another 30 minutes to get to his house. By the time I would have done all that, I would have gotten there by like 7.30. But it was actually fine because I left at seven. I didn't end up getting balloons because the place was closed. Like they closed the balloon part of Kroger like early. So I ended up just getting his cake. It took like literally five minutes, maybe even less than that. I probably was in there for like three minutes and then got to his house by eight o'clock, which I told Kira that I was gonna get there by 7.38. So it was like perfect. I got there at 8.03. Um, we had an hour to set up. So I didn't film any of that. I was going to, but I was kind of just like trying to get it done before I got there. And I asked him, because usually after a youth group, like he's really hungry because he doesn't eat dinner. So I was like, hey, if you want to get something, I'll give you money for your birthday. So he got us hothead. And then, yeah, by the time he got back, it was like nine o'clock and everything was set up. It was perfect. I didn't really like have time to like put out my camera and everything while I was doing that stuff. But I did get some of those clips that you saw. So anyway, I wanted to show you what I got at the mall, the things. So I am done picking out all my makeup. I'm done picking out all, like, all beauty-related things. I'm done. Tess, one of my bridesmaids, gave me her little hair pieces that she put in her hair for her wedding day. They're just, like, little crystal, like, flowers. And I'm just going to put them in my hair. I have all my makeup. Yeah, and the awesome thing is I didn't pay for any of it out of my own pocket. It was all, for, like gift cards and gifts and stuff like that so um that was super awesome and a really big blessing so i did research a lot before buying this makeup because obviously i've been doing makeup since i was like little so i always knew that i wanted to do my makeup for my wedding day but wedding makeup was a little different than just like regular like play makeup um you really need to make sure it's waterproof it lasts a long time but I wanted to do it, you know, within a budget. Um, I knew exactly what I was getting. And I think if you're going to do your own makeup, that's one of my tips is like, make sure to research like what foundation, what concealer, what eyeshadow, what look you want to go for. I watched a um, bunch of like bridal makeup videos, just made a list of things that I liked from their video that they really recommended. And then I just got those things. So that's what I would recommend doing. A lot of the stuff I already have, like eyeshadow, I didn't buy any eyeshadow. I didn't buy like bronzer, highlighter, blush. I didn't buy any of that stuff because I already have that. Cream, contour, didn't buy that. I already have all that stuff. So I didn't buy any of that. It's a lot easier when you're going shopping if you know what you want. Or if you have someone like a, a consultant like talk with you and shop with you, that is a good too. These aren't things I bought and Nani gave these to me. I just wanted to show you real quick. Um, when I lived with her during COVID, I gave myself a pedicure but I was trying to get the calluses off my feet and I used a blade, okay? I used a blade and I cut my foot really bad. I cut my toe and it bled for so long. So she told me that she like had this foot file that she never uses, but she couldn't find it, but she finally found it. So this is 
a pedicure file. And then she gave me two Clarisonic brush heads, which is actually really awesome because I haven't replaced my brush head in years. I don't think I replaced it since I got my Clarisonic, which was when I was in like seventh grade. Maybe I've changed it like once before, but yeah, so I never changed my brush heads. The first place I went to was Sephora, so I knew exactly what I was getting. So I wanted to get the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is highly recommended by, I forget the girl's, the girl's name that I watched, her wedding video. I'll link it right here, but she recommended this like a lot. So this is a 24 hour wear and it's oil free, oil controlling, waterproof, transfer resistant. So this is like a perfect bridal foundation. Um, and then I got the shade warm nude. So the guy helped me match my skin tone. So with my, um, spray tan. So I'm super excited to try this. Um, I'm going to be doing a makeup trial next week. This is what the foundation looks like. I'm really excited about it. And this was $40, I believe. Yep, it was $40. So it was actually not that bad. I mean, you know, it's not $10 like at a drugstore, but um, $40 for a 24 hour foundation. It's uh, one fluid ounce. So I had a $100 gift card, but I really didn't need anything else because I got everything else at Ulta. So I literally just spurred the moment, picked this up in the line, checkout line. It's the Lip Injections Extreme. This is a travel size. I've used this before, but I literally lost it. Like I got it and I lost it within like a month or two. And this is expensive. This travel size one is like $14, $16. And I got the full size one, which was, I think the full size is like $20 or something like that. So it's expensive, but I was like mine as well. Like, especially taking this on our honeymoon and stuff. Put some big lips. <laughs> I mean, my lips are really, really thin and small, so. It doesn't do that much. It just like gives it a little bit of pucker. And then MAC, um, I knew exactly what I wanted. So the girl, the girl's video that I watched, she, I think this is the one that she got, that she had in her video. I'm not 100% sure, but I really wanted like a cream liquid shadow um, just to go on top of my eyeshadow because I don't want glitter because glitter tends to fall out more unless you put on, you know, you can put on like a primer or a base, but I also don't want it to be too flashy. So I got this one. This is the Dazzle Shadow in Every Day is Sunshine. This is what it looks like. I tried another one and it was more of like a transparent eyeshadow, but it had a lot of glitter and it looked kind of like a disco ball and I wasn't really going for that. And then there's another one that was like holographic and I was like, oh no, that is not the look I'm going for. So this was 20, $23. So it's pretty expensive for a, for an eyeshadow, but I mean, it's my wedding, you know, gotta treat myself. So yeah, that's the last of the makeup that I got. So I've been trying to find a decent bra and underwear set. So I'd never wear bras. Um, I only wore sports bras. You not catch me wearing a regular bra. Ever. I hate regular bras, but I did want a bra and underwear set, not even like a sexy one, just one that like I can have for like, you know, if I need to wear a bra under an outfit or whatever. So I went to Victoria's Secret first. Well, Victoria's Secret doesn't carry my size. I didn't get anything there. Then I went to Dillard's. Dillard's has no like cute brown underwear like then I went to Aerie which is I think by American Eagle and they didn't have anything they just had like loungewear like brown underwear like regular lounge stuff and I was like okay so then I went into pink and I usually buy my stuff from pink but for some reason like I wanted to go to Victoria's Secret first but they didn't have anything so I finally found something at pink. So I found this. This is my all time favorite bra. So this is a double push up bra or it's, it's called a super push. And it has like, as you can tell, like a lot of padding in it. And then I got just black under it, like a black thong to go with it. I don't know, is this inappropriate to show on YouTube? Well, you know, we are all girls here. So, you know, if you're a boy, please stop watching this. This is really weird. But yeah, so this is a, just like a lace. 
on it has like these two straps so yeah but that is all I got oh and they give you a free hand sanitizer yeah but anyway that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe if you have not already because there's some really exciting videos coming out especially we're about to get married in three months so things are happening but yeah if you have not already um also follow me on instagram which is lily underscore bear with three r's i'm active on there pretty much every single day and yeah that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye